Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I was going through the TV dinner section at the store and I got up to the Hungry Man where they haven't had anything new for a while and holy smokes what we have here limited edition Chipotle barbecue boneless chicken wings and they spell it W-Y-N-G-Z I don't know what that's all about but and these are fried white meat chicken patties topped with chipotle barbecue sauce, ranch seasoned mashed potatoes, sweet corn, and an apple crumble dessert. So you got a full meal in this box. And uh, as the gold emblem suggests, for a limited time only. Now I've got this going to microwave, so let's get it out and see how it looks. Okay, so here are the nutrition facts. 710 calories. Probably a little bit less fat than you would expect given what you're eating here. 40% for the day. 15% cholesterol. You've got a whopping 1,410 milligrams of sodium. And you have 24% fiber for the day. Well, here's how it looks on the package. And here's what we have out of the microwave. You can see those boneless wings are fairly similar. It looks like you have to apply more of that barbecue sauce on the wings to make them look saturated like the front of the box. Here's the mashed potatoes, the apple crumble, and the corn. So you've got some color here and a fairly nice classic Swanson style presentation. The aromas I'm picking up here are this barbecue sauce and a little bit of the corn and a slight bit of this apple crumble here. So let's first test out the main event here, which is the boneless chicken wing. These wings had a soft coating because they've been marinating in this chipotle barbecue sauce. I thought they had a good chicken flavor. They were better than I expected. Just the right density. They're able to be cut with a fork, very tender. And I also thought it was notable that they, while they are not actual chicken breast slices, they're not made with any sort of filler or other things in there. It's an entirely solid piece of chicken, white meat chicken, and I thought it obviously benefited from this sauce, which I want to try separately here. It's mostly a sweet barbecue sauce, a little bit of honey flavor in there I detect. The heat level is, I would say, about a four. It's just enough to add something, a slight zing to the flavor. But if you don't like things that are just terribly hot, you'll still be able to enjoy this, I think. So overall, a very nice flavor in the sauce and in the wing. Now let's try these ranch mashed potatoes, which is a revolutionary change from the history of Swanson and Hungry Man, they've never really added anything to their mashed potatoes before. And they've always had the best frozen mashed potatoes. So let's go ahead and see how these taste. It's 
not very strong of a ranch flavor. Primarily getting more of that classic mashed potato. There are some little green specks. They're very small, but I guess that indicates some of the ranch seasoning. Mashed potatoes are good, but they're not strongly ranch flavored, just a hint of it. So now let's go ahead and try this corn. Okay, on the corn survey says, um, I have to give one or zero stars for this corn. It's very tough, almost inedible. There's a slight amount of butter flavor to it. So now let's go to this apple crumble here. I thought that was a good apple dessert. It has, most importantly, tender apples in it, not those little rubbery ones. And the crumble on top and around it, it has a graham cracker taste, but also a little hint of butter in there that gives it an overall apple pie type flavor. So a nice finish to the meal. I think if they could replace the corn compartment with a second set of these good mashed potatoes in there, that would be a great improvement. I still think they have the best mashed potatoes of frozen dinners and frankly better than some restaurants. And you have these above average boneless wings in the probably the best barbecue sauce I've had in the TV dinner. So overall, I think this is one to pick up while they've got it on the shelves. I'm going to subtract a star for the tough corn and for also not including a blue cheese sauce that could be defrosted perhaps to go with the wings, but the sauce they've got is pretty good and I'm going to give these four stars. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.